Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Adas. This in today's video, I'm going to be opening a Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection. This was released with the second wave of the Scarlet and Violet 151 products. So, Puffy. without further ado, let's, let's get it. All right, guys. So here we have it: the Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection. Right off the bat, from what I can tell, it's kind of lighter than the Celebrations UPC and the Charizard UPC. But here we have it is the front so this is the out sleeve with this wrapping still mythical treasure mythical treasures oh wait mythical the mythical pokemon mew holds many sweetness of the pokemon world and you usually only the luckiest of trainers encounter it but now you can add it to your own pokedex along with even more kind of pokemon inside the bounty of booster packs from the scarlet and violet 151 expansion new ex appears it has both playable and collectible metal cards and you also find a beautifully illustrated promo card featuring Mewtwo, a durable playmat and a deck box and more. There's the contents, I'll leave it on there for a second. And let me crack this thing open. So here's the outer sleeve. If I can pull it out, there we go. And there's the box. Nice looking box. Clean with the silver outlines and silhouettes of the Pokemon 151 and then the rainbow kind of gradient to it. Which is nice, but right off the bat as well, compared to the celebrations and the Charizard UPC, the box it's not as thick. Cardboard isn't as like heavyweight, if you get what I mean. And from what I can tell, there's no magnets as well. So I think it's just from what I can tell, a lift up little box. Nice little box though, but I'm guessing for the ecosystem, whatever you call it, the they're saving on like cardboard and stuff making it less durable or whatever you want to call it but anyway let's crack this thing open here we have it so oh nice that's a nice presentation though that's actually a nice presentation um there's the promos by the way up, up there but first things first i'm gonna get the playmat out first definitely the playmat all right so let's start things off with the playmat Alright, so there's the playmat slightly folded. I'll probably have to flatten this down a bit later. But because it's been rolled up for so long, it's pretty much folded out, so you have to flatten it. But nice little silverish gradient, silver bluish gradient, grey. Moving on to the pink and then the rainbows, I guess, kind of rainbowish green. That's the playmat. Here's the new jumbo coin. It's not metal or anything, it's just plastic. Got a metallic finish that's a nice new coin right there and then your two condition markers which are exactly the same as normal no metal no nothing it's just regular normal condition markers and then you get some pink damage counters again not metal as well just regular pink damage counters which from what i can remember in celebrations and the charles at upc they were metal but this time around they kind of cheaped out us i would say it's not as premium I guess the only premium product would be the metal Mew, which I'll show you at the end. But that's the dice or damage counters. Here is the deck box that you get with it. Nice little deck box. It's not a premium one either. It's just a regular like um, what kind of what material? Can I say plasticky material? And here's the inside. Or you only get one um deck divider, which is actually made of the plastic material as well. It's not cardboard like the regular ones. And then you should get 16 packs, 8 on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, perfect. And here are your promo cards, which are slightly out of place. I'm hoping that didn't damage the cards. Alright, so let's start with the Mew. Right, so how do you take this out? Oh my days. Oh my days, how do you take this out? Still stuck in there. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. So here's the metal card. Hopefully you can actually hear that. Nice little metal card here. It's a lot darker than it probably looks on the screen because of the lighting, but it's actually a lot darker. It's actually nice. Quality this time around actually seemed way better than the ultra premium from the celebrations. Although there's a little red mark, I don't know if you're going to see it on my one down at the bottom. 
just right there where my thumb is let's see the back oh this is actually no there's got a few things mine got a few things yeah and a few bubbles and things there there's one there one there apart from that though the edges are kind of nice although you might just be able to see it but you can just see a bit of the gold edging around the sides Alright, so that's the metal card. And by the looks of it, the Mewtwo and the Mewtwo can just slide out nice and they're still in their plastic like sleeves wrapping this. Oh, the condition centering is a bit off, but the condition of these cards are actually way better. Than usual yeah centering is a bit off but cornering and everything is kind of nice on the back anyway yeah let me cut this open and here we have it outside of the plastic this card is nice this Mewtwo is nice would have been nice if we could pull it or if this was a SIR this would have been a beautiful SIR a beautiful SIR but that's the Mewtwo And now moving on to the one where most people are probably buying this product for the Mew SIR what a beauty of a card again would have been nice if you could pull it from the set but again buying it from the Vulture Premium at least you get it guaranteed centering on this one's a bit poor yeah centering is poor okay we're gonna have to check the back after we open it all right let me crack this open all right so there's your cold card and I'm guessing online you're probably gonna get the Mew, the Mewtwo, I don't know about the gold card, but the Mew and the Mewtwo cards, digital gold card, and here's the Mew, whoa, what a beauty, this is a beauty of a card, oh my days, yeah, apart from the centering, these are clean, oh my days, oh, if only the centering was perfect, this, oh my days, this would have been a perfect grade, a bit of my note that's a bit of dust yeah these would have been perfect for grading if the centering was way better oh my days oh my days all right so that's the mew all right so that's the contents of the ultra premium collection guys nothing left but to crack the packs open but before we get started if you enjoy my videos and you haven't already i'd appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe Turn notifications on for more. When I reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer Box of me hitting 500 subscribers. But without further ado, let's get it. All right, guys. So first pack in, first pack in from Ultra Premium. From experience, the packs in the Ultra Premium collections usually are like hit and miss. Either you're gonna get a good one, like a stacked one, or you're gonna get a bad one. Let's see what my one is gonna be in either man. Also, as well. In the UK, I'm guessing worldwide, maybe I don't it might not be for the US, but in the UK, retailers, normal retailers, these are this delayed for two weeks. I believe they're releasing on the 20th now instead of um the 6th, which I got mine from the Pokemon Center. Before we actually even get into all of that, I almost forgot. Um if you order these from the Pokemon Center, I think any Pokemon Center, I'm not sure if it's worldwide, but in the Pokemon Center in the UK, you got one of these, a Squirtle promo card reverse follow um with the pokemon center stamp right there and there was a limit on two for pokemon center so i've got two of these i'm gonna keep one sealed and this one will go in my binder so that's the squirtle promo card and yeah what was i saying um yeah these are delayed um i think this and the alakazam ex box is delayed which was supposed to release on a six on my days of a four but right now the only product that i think or products that i've released for the six or the second wave is um the Alakazam EX box and the mini tins. So the Ultra Premium and the Alakazam is delayed. Felix Fossil Gengar, no hit so far. Two packs in and no hit so far. So yeah, um, I was gonna do actually no for the Ultra Premium. This would have been a single box on its own. Um, I have the mini tins and the Alakazam, um, not Alakazam Zapdos collection box, which I'll probably do in its own video as well. And then, um, when the Alakazam releases, I'll do. A one of each product release as well. They put on holo, stormy. There's our holo energy. 
yeah so um on the release of the actual Pegasam I'll do a one of each product opening for the second wave so far guys oh my days um this is the fourth pack in and we haven't had a single hit not even an EX not an IR nothing in the Reno product slowpoke energy sticker freezing wow yeah so four packs in so far not a single hit wow 16 packs as well this could be a stinky um ultra premium collection box in terms of pool wise anyway with packs wise but getting the metal card the Mewtwo and the Mew I would say it's good enough to just kind of fight for that just for that reason alone you won't wow Yahoo! okay nice here's our first EX which is a nine tails which I've already got so I can't add it to the master set but at least we got a hit So there's our first hit for nine tails. Not useful to me though because I've already pulled it, so it's not going into the master set. Um, I pulled four out of the seven SIRs. I pulled one out of three golds. IRs, I think I pulled only four or five out of quite a few. Almost all. I believe I pulled four full lots. Um, Charizard, Golem, Jinx. Maybe three, maybe only three. Charles, I got them. Jinx is all I can remember. I don't think maybe only three actually. Full full is what I've pulled. Yeah. Um, Mark, Bertini, Gengar. Almost done with the first half. Um, so I've opened up seventy-three packs, sixteen, I think eighty-nine packs altogether after this video. I've done two Cosmos and uh, ETBs. I've done. The banner collection, poster collection, booster bundles, a half booster box, and then now this ultra premium collection. Not so bad, not too bad so far. If you want to go and see those videos, guys, I'll link in the description down below. All right, guys, so that's about halfway through the video, or at least halfway through the packs. If you're currently enjoying the video and you haven't already, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn on notification on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer box of me hitting 500 subscribers. But without further ado, let's get into the rest of the packs. Right, so eight more packs. Um, what was I saying as well? Yeah, eighty-nine packs total for this after this video. And um, my pulls have been good so far. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the pulls that I've gotten. Um, this ultra premium would be nice to pull, even better than I already have. But I mean, I think nine packs in. And... Oh my days! There's our first SIR. Maybe our only SIR, but I look as I'm EX. I'm, I've already pulled it. Man, this is a beautiful SIR. Don't get me wrong, this is a beautiful SIR, but I've already pulled it. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, so not too bad to be honest. Uh, SIR, at least. At least we pulled an SIR from this. Would be nice to see a IR at least. Which will probably be a double now that I think about it. I've probably pulled Nine Tails EX double, Alakazam. SIR double, Charmander, Spiro. <laughs> Oof. I think this could be a double up. Yahoo! Literally speaking it into existence, a double up. Alright, pack opening. Alright, so yep, gonna be pulling doubles by the looks of it. Pulling doubles. Um, Again. 16 packs would be nice if I could pull something different. I wouldn't even mind pulling an EX. I can only tell there's a whole lot of fire energy in there. Wouldn't even mind pulling an EX that I haven't pulled. I think Arbot, um, Golem, and a few others. Mr. Mime, Slowbro, Dragonite. Five packs left, guys. Um, three hits out of 16 packs. I mean, not bad. If there's nothing left in these last five packs, not bad, I guess. At least there's an SI or IR and an EX. I mean, a full out will top it and make it nice. Magic, but I actually need that to complete the master set. The, the base part of the master set, anyway. Oddish, Monkey, Meow, Sand Slash, Need a Reno, Hold Up, Home Star, Kabuto, Mr. Mine. Alright, four packs left. Um, after this video, I have the Mini Tins and the Alakazam. I don't know if I should do a separate video or should I just do the Mini Tins and the Alakazam together. I probably will do them together and then just leave. Um, 
until when it releases everything else until I do the opening every product of wave 2 yeah that's probably what I'll do that's probably what I'll do um so after this video you probably see this on a Sunday um either Monday or Thursday I'll do the mini tins on the all my days I see peak 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 when I'm off wait what what no <laughs> I got completely duped on that pack, boy. I'm sure I saw gold peeking out, but it was nothing. Wow. And because of me seeing that gold as well, I was just in the back of my head, I was just thinking, Mew, please, Mew. Mew EPC. Mew, UP, Mew UPC. Mew gold card. Give me the Mew gold card. Or Mew gold metal card. And then topping it off would be a sick Mew gold card. Nope. All right, last pack, guys. I mean, kind of stinky ish. Three pulls. At least there's an SI on my days. Look, did I just do that? Look at that card right there. I don't know if that was me or not. Alright, so last pack magic. Um, I don't think we're gonna pull anything to be honest. Oh my days. No, these cards are bent. This can't have been me. Literally, this last pack, the cards are bent. Hopefully. Yeah, you can just probably just about see it there. It doesn't transfer to anything if there is anything. That might have been just the first card by the looks of it. Girls. Yeah, bro. Have you saw the mic? No. Oh, yes. With the last pack magic, Kangaskhan EX. Nice. At least one card I can use for the master set. Oh my days, Kangaskhan. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. I really love the full arts from this set. The camera doesn't do it justice. But in person, these cards look so nice. These full arts look so nice in this 151 set. Alright guys, so that was a Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection. Premium wise... Kind of... Yeah, I don't know if I would say it's premium premium, apart from the metal card. That's probably the most premium part of it. And I guess the content is kind of makes it ultra premium. Tickling packs, yes. The Mewtwo IR um, promo, the beautiful Mew SIR. And then in terms of pool wise, you get a Kangas. I mean, every rarity apart from the um, gold. Yeah, I pulled pretty much every every rarity rarity apart from the gold. Um. Not too bad to be honest. The contents, the playmat, I love the playmat. I love my playmat. Playmat, you know, I love my playmat. So the playmat, yes. Everything else, or well, the deck box, the jumbo coin, all of that. To be honest, the main thing you're gonna buy this for is these three: the playmat and the packs, pretty much. But yeah, guys, that was the Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, subscribe. Turn notification on for more. When I reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent leech in a box that's me hitting 500 subscribers. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.